Hello folks, Help and Doc gives you the flexibility and control to determine which of your builds are published when you generate documentation. When you enable a build, it is generated when you use your build list. You will also have the option to temporarily disable a build to prevent it from being generated. This flexibility permits you to maintain builds in your build list without requiring you to publish them each time you generate documentation. We are now going to run through two steps to manage the status of your builds. First, you are going to click the top half of the Generate Help button in the Project Group on the Home Ribbon tab. This displays the Generate Documentation window. Your builds are listed here along the left sidebar in your build list. The check marks next to the builds indicates which builds would be published the next time you generate documentation using your build list. If a build does not have a check mark, it would not be generated. Here in step 2, we are going to show you three ways to update the status of a build. Method 1, click the box next to the build. This toggles the current status of that build. If the build was currently enabled, the check mark would be removed when you click it. This disables that output. As a result, the next time you publish documentation using your build list, this build would not be generated. On the other hand, if the box next to a build is empty, that build is disabled. By clicking the empty box to display a check mark, you enable it. Another method to updating the status of a build is to click the red check mark in the build list menu here along the top. This displays a drop down menu that allows you to update the status for multiple builds at once. Enable All updates the status of all builds to enabled. Enabled None updates the status of all builds to Disabled. Only Selected updates the status of the selected build to Enabled and updates the status for all other builds to Disabled. And finally, Invert toggles the status of all builds simultaneously. And the final method to updating the status of a build, right click your build list. This displays a pop-up menu that offers the same options as if you clicked on the red check mark above, allowing you to update all of your builds simultaneously. Now, after you've updated the status of your builds, you have the following three options to continue with. You can publish all of your enabled builds simply by clicking the Generate button here in the lower right-hand corner of the Build Documentation window. You can close the window without publishing your documentation merely by clicking the Cancel button again here in the lower right hand corner. Or you can also close the window without publishing your documentation just by clicking the X button or Close Window button here in the upper right hand corner. One final note. If a build is obsolete, you can remove it from your build list rather than changing its status to disabled. The steps for deleting publishing outputs from your build list are outlined in another video. Help and Doc is free for personal use and evaluation purposes. You can download it at helpanddoc.com and see other video guides at helpanddoc.com/online-help. Thanks for watching.